everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These readings are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, and most importantly, have a really enjoyable and positive week. So Aries, your cards for this week from the Teacup Tarot deck. Start with card seven, the chariot as your overall energy. Now, this is a card about a movement forward. This card often shows up if things have felt a little bit stalled or a little bit stuck lately. Well, not anymore. This card also reminds you that when you do move forward to do so with balance and with discipline. So you need to think it through as you move forward. And just like the picture on the card, look, if she doesn't stay balanced or think what she's doing, she's going to wobble off these ice skates. So a lovely card, movement forward here by all means, but do so and just go steady as you do. Your help or your hurdle, the Four of Coins says, time to look at situations of too much or too little. Now, this is very much a card that says balance is required. This card says, just consider financial balance. Make sure your bank balance is in order. This also asks you to think how much time you're giving and receiving and get a good balance between the two. This is also the card that says work-life balance needs to be addressed this week. So a lovely mindfulness card for you there. So as you're making this move forward, we talked about balance and discipline here. Well, here's the balance coming in as another reminder. Your guidance, the Ten of Pencils says expect the situation to improve this card says things are looking up things are starting to look better and this is you climbing the ladder of success how can we help ourselves we have the queen of teacups now the principal message of the queen of teacups is one of a lovely energy a lovely person helping other people and stepping up into this leadership role now here she is look making lovely cups of tea for other people very much focused on charity very much focused on humanity and humility so this could be you stepping up into this role of helping other people when the queen of teacups shows up this is very much a card where the energy is caring for other people, charitable work, making sure that their emotional needs are met and they feel loved and cared for. The other meaning with this card just reminds you of self-care. The reason why the Queen of Teacups is so brilliant at what she does is that she makes sure that her energy levels are topped up first. So a double meaning to the card there, two lovely things to be mindful of. Pulling it all together, the Knight of Coins comes in and says it's time for you to get plans made. This is the card of plan A, plan B and plan C. The Knights are usually very fast moving energy, but not the Knight of Coins. She's not riding the motorcycle, she's looking at the map. And the important thing with this is that when they get back on the motorbike, not only do they know where to go, they also know how to get there. So this card's asking you to start making plans, get things down on paper, get your action plan written down, get things organised. And speaking of planning, your overall outcome energy here is the three of wands. And this is about long term planning. This is about you dreaming big, the biggest dreams you can dream and start taking the action steps. Now start doing the groundwork. This is very much a card of abundance coming in and it asks you to make those first steps. She wants to have a beautiful, healthy forest 
And in order to get there, she needs to plant the seedlings. So that's very much an energy of start those first action steps now. And when you take one step towards the angels and the universe, they will take 10 steps towards you. So looking at the teacup tarot cards overall, expect a movement forward this week. Sometimes if things have felt a little bit stuck and do so with balance and discipline, just go steady. Get your work-life balance, your finances in balance, and the time you give to others in balance. And when you do that, expect the situation to improve. This could be you stepping up into this role of helping other people or a little reminder for you to practice self-care as well this week. Then time to get your plans sorted out, make your plans, get organised, plan A, B and C. And it's time to dream big and take those first steps this week. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Ten of Emotion is the Happy Ever After card. This is about trustworthy relationships, quality time with other people, quality family time, the Happy Ever After card. How beautiful. The Twenty of Wisdom says, pause, reflect on how you've far you've come, realise how well you're doing and then be ready to climb to new heights. This is about the movement forward, but not in a rush. Pause and reflect first. The 11 of wisdom says you need to use kindness to get results. If you need to be assertive this week, by all means, but when you do it kindly, it'll get you a lot further, a lot faster. The five of thoughts says it's time for you to move in a new direction. Learn from experience. Take all your pearls of wisdom, everything that you've learned from the past, and that's learning what wouldn't work as well as what would. Taking all that wisdom and getting a brilliant new plan made. This planning has come up three times so far in the reading, so that's important this week. The Ten of Thought, we've got a double message, same card, different deck. This is about you moving on. We're talking about that here in your new direction. Being happy and enjoying things as they get better. The final outcome card says, stay motivated, stay focused, believe that you can do this. Try again, stay positive. Keep going and make those plans for the future and start those first steps right now because the situation is improving and joy and happiness are here for the taking. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference for me. It's really helpful. And also you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.